Hi guys, today we're talking about the Corsair Sable Pro um, 8K uh, Hertz mouse. Let's go. So, as I said already, we're talking about the Sable Pro 8K Hertz mouse. It has 18,000 dpi and comes with a weight of 69 gram in total on an L size um, without honeycombs by the way which is pretty okay in my opinion you can use it on Mac on PC on whatever you also can use it on Xbox I think the main feature here is that it's Sabre Pro for the champion series but um, what I can tell you guys I was very disappointed of this one because um, the only selling point here for me which makes this mouse unique is the 8K Hertz which you don't really feel any benefits from if you don't have a PC who is able to do more than 300 FPS and um, another thing is here um, the paracord is it's okay it's a good paracord for a nearly 70 euro mouse it's around about 60 euro right now maybe it's get cheaper in future but there's a lot of stuff which is which disappointed me a lot um some of you guys maybe saw already my uh, reviews about these uh, the mouse pads um from Corsair the MM200 Pro the MM250 CS and 350 CS which were all very good mouse pads for super fair price point um with decent fabric with everything was great on them to be honest it was like three mouse pads where i was n where i thought in front of no it's cause i i don't think they're good but when i thought the mouse pads all three were good nice mouse pads for fair price there was it's like a control pad for 18 euro out there which is decent man you i would say everyone who only wants to spend 20 euro and needs a controller would say you grab these 250 cs it's insane for the price but when i see this mouse for around 60 euro i wouldn't say anyone to buy this no at first you don't need these 8k hertz maybe it's get a standard in two or three years but right now you don't need it for what and the other thing is like the plastic on this one feels so cheap it's like you 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 get in a car which is very low budget with very cheap plastic everywhere because you touch this mouse 8 to 12 hours a day when you're a player and home office and whatever and you always feel like this this cheap plastic you think like what the fuck is it i paid 60 euro for it and it's what is it and then you have these clicks they say it's zero what is what is say wait 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 I, I, let me read it uh, 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 mm, cause their quick strike buttons with zero gap for fast and responsive clicking i don't know which mouth they mean but this one do not have zero gap or something because even on the click here you have like one or two millimeters in pre-travel and one and two in, in post-travel on the side buttons it's up to three millimeters in pre-travel also the geometry they choose is good for L hands that's all good but if I palm grip this mouse my thumb is already on the fucking side button and it's nearly clicking when I when I when I would grab it a little bit more intense or like I would I would like to claw it my thumb is always on the on this button and I don't want my thumb to be on this button I, I don't want to press it maybe I have an, an tactical or an ability in any game on it and if I'm maybe in a clutch situation and I just use it and I can't shoot because I was pressuring too much the grip because it's a clutch situation I really want to win this and I lose because I'm using tactical right now instead of shooting I, I lose and so it makes it not usable, you know? And it's like the when I watch these Teflon feeds in black down there, they have a an, an sensor ring, which is based on um, around the sensor, which is um, in between of some plastic, which is only a tenth of a millimeter out in front of the plastic, which is good. It's totally okay. Um, but if you go with your finger over the Teflon, you already feel like the Teflon has holes in it. 
and it's already looked scratched after using some minutes. It's <clears throat> there's nothing which would give me the feeling of having a 60 to 70 euro mouse in my hand. This gives, gives me the feeling of having a, a 20 to 30 euro mouse in my hands, to be honest. The whole feeling of the mouse is not very um, good. It's not very stable. It's not like, like um, you have a premium mouse in your hand. So I think the unique selling point here is 8000 Hertz. And that's it. That's nothing else. There's no super good click feeling. There is no super geometry, no super form. It's not super light. Uh, there's nothing special. And I'm very disappointed about this because I was thinking about the pets and I was hoping Cars is coming with a new competitor for other mice. So they're not. That's just nothing I would recommend to anyone, to be honest. And I'm sad to say this because I really like these mouse pets, guys. So if you have any questions about this mouse just leave it down in the comments and if i missed something guys maybe i missed something on this mouse just tell me also thanks for watching see you on the next video bye guys